Under the SMSF's heading, select on Update a Deed. Opens the SMSF data variation order form and enter the name of the fund. So it's going to ask you to enter the uh, clause that allows the variation. So this can be found under the um, table of contents. It will usually be under amendment or variation and it's going to um, have a particular clause number on there or perhaps a clause, a sub clause. So enter that, answer these questions particular to the fund and enter the execution date of the deed. The execution date and the establishment date are usually the same. Whether there have been any amendments since it was established, you would enter those dates here. Governing state and next. This is a confirmation just to let you know that the documents will take around about two to three business days to be completed because they will be reviewed by an in-house lawyer. It's not a, an automatic document creation service that they will be prepared and reviewed. So that's the, the time frame just to let you know upfront about that. And here we will enter the trustee details. I'm just going to select a company that has been stored in the um, system already. And it comes along with director's details. Otherwise, when you're entering a company, you add the directors and then whether those directors are members of the fund. The members will show up in the member tab. If there's another party involved in the variation, which you'll see in the variation clause, add their details here, for instance, a principal employer or a founder, if it's, a, if it's applicable under your deed. Uh, now we need to upload a copy of the deed. And this needs to be a signed copy and the latest deed. So, um, also anything, if there's been a change of trustee since the latest deed, please upload signed copies of those documents as well. And this is an important step for you to review your information. So review everything that you've entered, clients, details, spelling of the super, na super fund name, double check all the info that you've entered. If you need to make any changes, you can do with the edit button here and it's going to save in your draft until you're ready to submit. Once you are happy with all of the information, you need to press this acknowledgement, just confirming you've checked everything and that everything is correct. These are your document options. You can have the documents online in PDF only, or if you would prefer hard copies sent to you, select the bound and delivered, and we have the, um, the printing options. So as a standard, you'll get three bound copies of the deed. So with this one, I'm just going to say electronic only. And if you order the bound and delivered service, you, you'll still have the electronic version online. Once you're ready to go, select this and check out.